The occurrence of an El Nino phenomenon this year has become more likely according to the Philippine Atmospheric Geophysical and Astronomical Services Administration. Pag-asa Deputy Administrator Esperanza Cayanan says the probability of an El Nino occurrence has increased from 55% to 80% in June, July, August and September. According to Pag-asa, El Nino is characterized by unusually warmer than average sea surface temperatures in the central and eastern equatorial Pacific. As an effect, below normal rains are expected which can cause dry spells and droughts in several areas of the country. Pag-asa is poised to issue an El Nino alert next month. From El Nino Watch, by next month, Ma May, we will be issuing the second level which is El Nino Alert kung saan meron po tayong above 70% of probability of El Nino occurrence for the next two months. Bureau, however, clarifies that before the looming onset of an El Nino, the Philippines will first experience a rainy season. Kayanan warned that heavy rainfalls may occur before the onset of the phenomenon. From previous experience po natin, uh, makaka, pwede po tayo maka-experience ng extreme rainfall event, kagaya po ng isang example, nung Ondoy, nung 2009, wherein nagkaroon po kasi tayo ng El Nino 2009-2010. Pero bago natin naramdaman yung kakulangan sa tubig, naka-experience naka po tayo ng extreme events.